today. Well, let's take a look. Well, hi, I'm Joe. I'm with Studio Keju RC Review, and today we're going to stay grounded for a little bit. And I'm going to show you the Cheerwing 116 scale rocket dingo. I think that's what it's called. Uh, let, me, let me explain that one to you. Here's the box. They call it the 116 scale rocket. And if you look all over the box, mostly that's how it's described. But down here, they call it the dingo. Now, why is that important? Uh, well, we'll see when I ordered this. The listing on Amazon just referred to it as a 116 scale car, and it did not give a name to it. Uh, a little bit of research, and I found that uh, back at least as far as 2017, uh, Cheerwing had put out a uh, so pretty much the exact same chassis, which was uh, uh, a dune buggy design in this case. But if you take a look at them, they look pretty similar. I don't have the video with me right now, uh, but they look very similar, uh, but it was more of a doom buggy kind of look. Um, in this case, again, as you see here, it's not. It's not a doom buggy. It's more of a pickup shape. And it doesn't say anywhere on here, Rocket or Dingo. Uh, it does say EVCR Trubby Race, RH Racing, you know. So, uh, Remo Hobby, it, it just doesn't have a name that I can put to it. So I'm calling it the Rocket Dingo. Anyhow, uh, let's take the shell off because it's just a basic vacuum form plastic shell. I took the pins, put them over here so I don't lose them. Uh, the pins will hold the shell down at these points here and here and here. Uh, let's take a, a nice look at this. This is a really nice, well-built uh, vehicle. I believe I bought this for uh, in the range of, uh, well, I believe it was supplied to me because uh, this was a product supplied by the manufacturer, but I believe it goes for the range of about $130. Um, what do you get for that? Well, let's see. Uh, four very nice solid roller tires that grip the road beautifully. You'll see that in the video in a little bit. Um, yeah, some basic LED lighting. That's, uh, I don't think there's anything on the back. There's just the ones in front. Um, the interesting thing about the lighting, if you see the lights sort of stick out here a bit. Now, anyone who has driven an RC car knows you're going to hit stuff. You're going to run into walls, things like that. I've not even come close to breaking these things, and I've slammed into concrete. Uh, you know, just just bounces back or goes up or whatever. Uh, what you get with this uh, is a very powerful brushless motor in here. Uh, take the clip off here to show you. Uh, this battery is a 1500 milliamp hour. You're supposed to be able to get about 25 minutes worth of runtime. I'm going to be honest, I think that's probably pretty accurate because uh, I just drive this thing for like 10, min uh, 10 minutes at a time and I take it out two or three times and I've got to charge it up. So that's pretty accurate so uh, battery clips into place in here uh, chassis the, the, the frame here is very solid this is this is uh, very very well constructed now take a look at the uh, uh, individual suspension up here at the front on both front and on back because I have seen cars where the back is on a single suspension point. Uh, oh yeah, also, check out a little uh, roll, uh, roll bar here so that if you're going too fast, and this does happen, it will keep it from flipping backwards by sort of folding it up like that so that when it wheelies, it just wheelies and does what it's supposed to do. Uh, you also get with this, and of course there's the there's cover, to set that off. You get this 2.4 gigahertz uh, remote control that is laden with features. A uh, nice rubber grip on here. Uh, you've got controls here. Uh, there's hidden controls here for things like trim control, which surprisingly you will once in a while need. Uh, this the format is rather simple and straightforward. For, press the trigger, it goes forward. I don't want to rest. 
last time I backed it up, it went off the desk, so we don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to tell you about. Turning this thing on. When I first got this, uh, I was looking for, in the instructions, how do I turn it on? And I don't actually think that information's in there, so I'm going to show you this right now. You have to take the, well, you don't have to, but it's, it's harder if you don't. Uh, there's, uh, on this controller here, the brushless ESC, which I believe is what controls the motor, there's a little button right here, right next to the antenna. You press that, and you see I just turned it off, so I don't accidentally have it go flipping. So, now this is not supposed to be run through, like, deep water or anything like that. It has gotten wet. What I've done when that happened, we ran through a small bit of water or puddle. Uh, was, and you can see that it's not the cleanest right now. Uh, is I just basically, as soon as possible, I shook it out, I brought it in, used the Q-tip, and kind of cleaned up in the deeper areas, unplugged the battery, uh, and dried off, especially around here because this is an open control device, and uh, just let it air dry after that, and she runs smoothly. She runs beautifully. I, I, I'm very impressed with this thing. This is my first such vehicle, so. Maybe I'm overly impressed. I don't know. Uh, what else do you get with this guy? You get a battery charger. You're going to need that because sooner or later, that battery is going to go down. And it charges within a couple hours. You get oh, just lots and lots of paperwork. Here's the thing all about the instruction, instruction manual for the remote, you know, the controller unit. It's both in Chinese and English. Um, parts manual. That's a lot of parts. Uh, tools, extra clips, uh, tiny little uh, Allen wrenches. Let's see. There's basic uh, components, how they're put together so that you know what you're doing if you do need to buy parts. Uh, safety instructions. Uh, here. Warning. Changes or modifications to this unit not expressly approved. Okay, so it's just a, a warning thing. So, um, yeah, don't change this or they won't be happy with you if you need to repair it. Or ask them for any warranty information. Uh, Lots and lots and lots of schematics on how things go together. That's, this could be very helpful if you're a rougher driver than I am on it. And I, uh, while I'm not a good driver, I do uh, have fun with it. I do kind of like to run it around. But there are people that would love to do jumps and things like that that I just don't spend my time doing. Uh, and then there's information here about the, the uh, practice of maintenance, battery charging. Yeah, I would have thought that this was where I would have said, hey, here's how you turn the darn thing on. I had to find out by trial and error. I just basically opened it up and looked for something that looked like a button, and I got lucky. So, having said all that, how does it drive? I know. You'd think that would be a, uh, earlier in the whole piece. It drives so well. First off, once you get used to the... Uh, to the controller now I am I am 62 I'm a little bit on the older side so I don't really necessarily like the pistol grip style um, sometimes in order to make sure that I'm turning correctly I'll have to turn it this way so that I turn and it goes the direction I want it to um, it's just not intuitive to me I, I still prefer more of a uh, like a drone type of toggle scenario but it is the 21st century so New, new minds, younger people, uh, new styles. And uh, this is more or less the default, so it's up to me to change to adapt to that. Uh, it drives really nicely. It can handle, uh, it, it grips the road nicely. It comes in, it clocks in at a weighted with the battery. On the scale, it comes in at exactly two pounds. So it's good, solid grip, especially on concrete. It likes concrete, but it can do a little bit of drifting in there. Uh, you'll see in some of the video that I post with this. And uh, it handles grass beautifully. I was, I was impressed. Uh, it does not really, I mean, it slows down maybe a little bit, but not very much at all. 
Um, it, it's just basically it's what you want in a vehicle like this. It's fun to see what you can do to push it. It's about uh, um, it's about 100 yards of the distance of the controller, being a 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it uh, the building I have I work at here is about 300 feet long, and it goes close to most of the way there. And when it runs out of uh, the ability to read the remote, I just walk about 20 feet forward, and then I can get it to come back to me. So you know that's how sensitive it is. Um, it just it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to just you know. Because most of the time I'm working with things that fly, well, you have windy days or we're coming up on winter, I can't always fly in those conditions. But cars drive, and this is a wonderful, wonderful, fun little car. Uh, I just, if you're all into this sort of thing, this is a great, uh, I would say, starting point. Uh, let's go over some of the uh, some of the tech stuff they have on the box here. So that uh, you at least get something technical here. Of course, 2.4 gigahertz remote, um, approximately 50 kilometers per hour, which uh, I'm told that's probably a little higher than the actual rating. Um, you should be more like I think if you compare it, so it should be more like about 20 miles per hour, but it's still very fast. Um, electric, well, that's rechargeable, okay. Um, and uh, waterproof, no, not 100% waterproof, because if you read the paperwork, and like I say, water will get in here. You, you, you can get it wet, but you don't want to like, and it's even in the manuals, don't run it into water. You know, I mean, it's okay if you run through a puddle, dry it off, but, you know, it's, it's electric components and so forth. Uh, you, you know, I don't know that I would classify this as waterproof. This may actually be um, irresponsible to, to put that on there. I don't want to say that, that they're being irresponsible, but uh, that is definitely, unless they were, they could say, oh yeah, completely, you can submerge this thing. That's not waterproof. Um, it's just a really nice machine, though. Uh, you do have your options of red, blue, and then, oh yeah, you know what? This is, this is the... Uh, in the other video, I didn't notice that. Uh, this is the Doom Buggy version in the other video. So there, there's your comparisons. Uh, uh, let's see, anything else here that's of note? You know, I think I've kind of covered it. Um, anyhow, why don't you watch some footage of this thing, and we'll be back another time and talk more about other vehicles. Thank you for coming to Studio KJU RC. Um, Nobody has ever asked you in the history of ever, but I've got a big, big request. Hit like and subscribe. I hate asking that. I so hate asking that. <sighs> hey, thank you, and I really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome.